Welcome to the Prospect Research Wizard video. In an effort to simplify the research process and save you time, we transferred the old Wealth and Ratings page into a Prospect Research Wizard that takes you step by step through the researching process. To access the Research Wizard, simply open the Prospect record. In this demonstration, we'll be using Dan B. Gilbert's record, so let's search for him. The Prospects Research Wizard page displays. The left side of the page provides a prospect summary. This summary information remains even as you work through the various tabs of the wizard. This allows you to compare data included in the wizard with your existing data on the prospect. The first tab of the wizard, the Wealth Summary tab, gives you a quick snapshot of the prospect. It includes all information necessary for the initial stages of prospect qualification. The tab consists of wealth summary information with all identified and confirmed assets as well as indicators, giving capacity data, and an asset distribution chart. In addition, if any model scores exist on the record, the first seven display in the model scores and ratings section. If no scores exist, this section does not display. At the bottom of the tab, you can review research details, such as the assigned prospect manager, the research confirmation status, and any research summary information entered to the prospect record. In addition, you can run a Wealth Point update from the tab by clicking the Get Wealth Point Updates button located at the top of the screen. To view information about recently refreshed wealth data, click the View Data Refreshed button also located at the top of the screen. This opens the Wealth Point Data Refresh Notifications page, which displays any data refreshes added to the selected record. Also helping you with the initial qualification process is the Model Scores tab. A Model Score is an integrated analytics tool that helps you identify prospects most likely to give a gift to your organization. It helps your organization predict actions, including planned and recurring gifts, membership renewals, and which constituents will become major donors. From here, you can view, add, edit, and delete score information. After you complete the initial qualification process, you next move to the prospect's assets or capacity information contained on the wizard's assets tab. This tab helps you understand the wealth of the individual. At the top of the tab is included a handy summary of the prospect's asset information and near the bottom of the tab we include detailed information about specific asset categories. From here you can expand each section to view details about the selected asset category. Let's look at securities. Within each section, you can then expand individual entries for additional details. You can also add new information and confirm, reject, edit, and delete existing information. In addition, before we move on, let's take a look at some helpful features you'll find on all data lists included in the wizard. First, you can expand and collapse all entries on the page with a simple click. Expand all or collapse all. You can also select several entries to take a collective action. For example, let's go down to businesses. I'm going to select all the entries in businesses and I'm going to give them the reject status. You can also sort data. Let's clean up our work area a little bit and go down to wealth indicators. You can sort your data based on any column. So for example, let's say I want everything based on the confidence rating column. I can sort here and just go back and forth. And the nice thing is the application remembers your sort order. So when you close out of here and you come back, your sort order remains intact. Uh, you can also filter content in any section. So let's take a peek at that. Just click on the filter option up here and it'll activate all filter fields that are available for that section. And in our case, we'll, we only want to see four and above. Click apply and our content's been neatly filtered. 
And finally, you can export to external applications using the export functionality at the top of each section. Okay, back to our wizard demonstration. Once you have assessed the prospect's assets, you can next move on to the Giving tab and determine if the prospect is in fact charitable. A giving summary is provided at the top of the tab and it includes all giving information, giving to your organization as well as philanthropic gifts given to other organizations and political donations. On the right side, we give a giving category breakdown. This helps you better understand the types of charities and nonprofits to which this prospect is in the habit of giving. And much like the Assets tab, you can expand individual sections on the Giving tab to view details about selected giving categories. Let's take a look at Philanthropic Gifts. And again, within each section, such as Philanthropic Gifts and Political Donations, you can expand individual entries for additional details. From here, you can add new information and confirm, reject, edit, and delete existing information. After assessing the prospect's charitable inclinations, you next move to the Affiliations tab to determine how this prospect is connected. How do we know them and who do they know? Affiliations show you nonprofit and foundation connections, in addition to network connections, which display the names of organizations with a confirmed relationship to the prospect. The tab also includes constituencies, which define affiliations the prospect has with your organization, such as a volunteer or a member. Consistent with the other tabs, you can expand individual sections on the Affiliations tab to view details about a selected category. Let's take a look at Nonprofit Affiliations. Within the Nonprofit Affiliations and Foundation Affiliation sections, you can expand individual entries for additional details. You can also add, confirm, reject, edit, and delete content from here. Let's clean up our work area a little bit with Collapse All. You can also add, edit, and delete constituency information from the constituency section. Information included in the Network Connection section is based on relationships identified during a wealth point search and is view only. Finally, the tab also includes a relationship map. The map is based on relationships defined in the Relationship section of the Biographical Information tab, which we'll be taking a look at in a minute. Hover over the icons to identify the relationship, and you can also click the Go To Constituent link available to open up the constituent record from here. Finally, in the Prospect Research Wizard, we're going to move to the Biographical Information tab. From here, you can view and enter biographical information about your prospect without leaving the wizard. This tab replaces the constituent view previously available in Research Point. From here, you can add, edit, and delete biographical information you have on the prospect. For example, you can add contact information, relationships, interests. In addition, in the Biographical Data section, you can add, confirm, reject, edit, and delete biographical data, such as that provided by the data source Who's Who. Before we conclude this demonstration, I did want to mention that although the wizard is arranged in an order most common to prospect research processes, you are not bound by it. You have the freedom to jump around from tab to tab as needed. For example, you can go from wealth summary to giving back to model scores. The wizard order is not enforced. You can work through it in whatever order best suits your needs. This concludes our brief demonstration of the Prospect Research Wizard. For more information about this feature, see the Wealth and Ratings Guide available on the Research Point webpage.